A warm welcome to our channel, Taste a Book. Hello, everybody. This is Fayuz here with you. And I am Reha. A big shout out to our listeners on our very first episode. So, tell me, Fayuz, what is our channel all about? Well, Reha, as the title says, Taste a Book, we are going to be tasting books here, all right? You know, as book lovers, we share a common taste for books. So what we are going to do is just pick a book, read it, and talk about it. Hey, Fayuz, do you remember how our friendship started with our love for books? Oh, of course. How can I forget that? We are actual evidence of how friendships are forged over love for books, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Right. So let's tell our listeners what is the book we are going to taste today. Well, the book is called Midnight Library, written by Matt Haig, which talks about the character Nora Seed, a woman in her 30s who has come to a point of no return. And that's when she decides to end her life. This is when the Midnight Library comes into existence, holding books full of lives that she could have lived. So this book is a mixture of uh, philosophy, sci-fi, fantasy, all rolled into one. Of course, I agree. You know, this book has a ton of life lessons. Well, it is a decent read and quite different from the kind of books I've read before. But I'm not really sure if it is for the hardcore fiction lover who looks, who looks for, you know, mystery, drama and a lot of thrilling elements. I am of the opinion that this is more for, uh, what can I say, introspection and self-reflection, isn't it? Yes, I'm also a big fan of whodunits. But sometimes books like Midnight Library gives you a different angle of thought. Somewhere where we don't look for the murderer, but instead seek the core purpose of life. Wow, Reha, that's so insightful. All right. So I think that this book is, uh, you know, centered around Nora C, the protagonist. And we kind of see everything from her perspective alone. So, you know, being focused on one character, it can be considered a plus point or a flaw depending on the reader. Mm, you know, that's a very good point. I'm, I can actually relate to the character of Nora, but, but here and there. Like, for example, uh, there was this song in the book, which I felt like, you know, the, the, lyric, the lyrics were very powerful. People can decipher that in many, many different ways. There's this line that goes, but life can't be over when it hasn't begun. And I just sat still for a few moments after reading that. Ah. Wow, that's so powerful. You know, life can't be over when it hasn't begun. Fantastic. I think there are quite a lot of such nuggets of insights strewn throughout the book. As a matter of fact, I felt there was a lot of metaphorical elements in this book, which, you know, they have a lot of inner meaning more than what is just being portrayed. Well, I think I'm being cryptic here, but I don't want to reveal any spoilers. And um, because of all the deeper messages, I guess that's why I took more time to complete this book than I normally would. What about you? Yes, uh, for me, the first 50% was a quick read. But after that, the journey started to lag. As if, you know, it became more preachy. And it was oozing with lots of wisdom and throwing a lot of answers at me. And that I couldn't even dodge also. So, yeah, I kind of agree with you, sort of. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, in that case, would you recommend this book to our listeners? Yes, of course I will. Especially for people who don't read self-help books. It's a good start, you know, like maybe it would open gates to experiment with other genres outside their comfort zone. But, um, you know, like um, how people prefer apple juice to orange juice at McDonald's. 
But when you do right. get a sip of that unsweetened <laughs> orange juice, it makes you more comfortable to try out other juices on the shelf. So yeah, it's like that for me. <laughs> <laughs> Nicely put, Reha. Right. So my verdict would be that this book is a detox drink. Um, mm. Because I think, <laughs> right, because I think it may take time to finish, but will certainly give a whirlwind of cleansing thoughts. Actually, like long after I finished the book, I did sit in silence for a while and did some serious pondering over. Yeah, so that's why I think it is so. Cool, cool, cool. So listeners, do try this book. Let us know how you felt in the comments. It time, it's time for us to sign out. Keep reading, keep exploring, and keep listening to us. Have an appetizing day. This is Reha. And for you signing off. Till we meet again in our next episode with yet another book tasting segment. Bye. Ciao.